Welcome to this video by Simple Archaeology which will briefly discuss what happens to the artefacts and data recorded after an archaeological excavation has been completed, a process known as post-excavation analysis. During an excavation, archaeological features and finds are recorded by plans, section drawings, photographs, notebooks, context records and sample logs. This data, along with artefacts, archaeological remains and environmental samples are then taken to a laboratory for further identification, increased understanding of the site and its materials, and to analyse the results for publication and create an archive for this primary resource for future reference. Artefacts are received from an excavation in bags and containers, which are then sorted by material and processed for cleaning and conservation. Identification of material is important for the correct handling of artefacts and their interpretation. Finds such as flint, ceramic, metal, bone, wood and textiles are all treated and conserved differently before analysis. After artefacts and samples have been sorted, coded and categorised by physical characteristics, material and typology, good examples are then selected for photography, detailed illustration and analysis by fine specialists. Correctly identifying archaeological and environmental remains is vital for interpreting the date, function, lifespan and status of an archaeological site and the peoples which use them. Finds specialists use a wide variety of techniques to further analyse artefacts such as computer tomography, which can provide x-ray imagery of an artefact and produce details regarding how an object was made and the materials used, or isotopic analysis which may provide evidence of where the material was sourced from. Isotopic analysis is also used on bones and teeth and may provide results regarding the diet and regional upbringing of a human or animal. An expensive method for determining the age of organic-based material, known as C14 radiocarbon dating, has been successful in dating wood, ivory, bone, shell, textile, paper, food remains, seeds and grains. The scientific analysis of organic material, animal remains, plant macrofossils and organic residues help provide a deeper understanding of past communities and society's diet, resource and subsistence. This evidence, as well as the analysis of mollusks, remains, microfossils, beetles, soils and pollen, also provide an interpretation of past environments and climate. In order to gain the most accurate interpretation before results are published, scientific analysis is combined with theoretical approaches. There are various approaches and archaeological theory has progressed since the 1960s with possessional archaeology, post-possessional archaeology and material culture. Archaeological theory used concepts for multidisciplinary subjects such as anthropology, philosophy and sociology. These all help to explain an archaeological site, past human behaviour, societies and the interaction between different cultural groups. These subjects will be discussed in more detail in future videos. Once an excavation has been published, the archaeological remains are archived for future reference with some important artefacts acquired by museums. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to Simple Archaeology for more archaeological topics.